Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about attenuation or diffusion. I want to define these words for you. I know we talk a lot about diffusion and we talk a lot about absorption, but let's talk about the processes behind them a little bit. So I, I hope this will help clear things up and facilitate communication between, uh, between everyone, so to speak. Definitions. Attenuation. It's the reduction. I want you to think of attenuation as a reduction, a limiting, reducing, um, eliminating maybe in some cases could be used. So it's all about reduction. Now in acoustics, how do we get that attenuation through a process called absorption? So absorption is the process. Okay. That's what we have to keep in mind. So Good to step back in acoustics and think about what you're trying to do first, because a lot of people have a lot of different ideas about it, and, and we call those tactics. But tactics, if you ask any general on the battlefield, are worthless without a strategy. If you don't have a co cohesive strategy to what you're trying to accomplish, you're wasting time and energy. Okay? So wasting time and energy in acoustics is never good. What's diffusion? Let's think of diffusion as kind of the opposite of attenuation, but not really. All right. Now, I know that doesn't sound too scientific, but diffusion is the spreading out of a reflection or energy. It's not reducing, but it's spreading out, which reduces the impact at the listening position. So it's a little bit tricky. But if you think about attenuation as shrinking, diffusion doesn't do that. It doesn't shrink. It just takes the bigger parts and spreads them out into smaller parts. So, especially when it comes to reflections. So with reflections, we have a big reflection coming in. And when it comes into a diffuser, it goes out in little or smaller reflections. And that helps us psychoacoustically, and we'll talk about that in another video. So absorption is a process that we use to reduce the amplitude or the strength of the energy. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we convert it to heat through friction, and through friction, then we have an energy transformation, and we have reductions. So diffusion, like we talked about before, takes large reflections and makes them and produces them in a smaller race. So what do we get with diffusion that we don't get with absorption, which is the process that we use for attenuation? We get spatiality, we get air, we get separation, we get all those things that audiophiles like to call um, and get their music to sound like the original source. And we'll do a video on that because we don't completely agree with uh, the ability to duplicate the live event through two speakers. We'll talk about that in another video. But diffusion adds spatiality, air, separation, all the good things that we like about music. That darkness between notes, that lingering note through time and space, that's what we like to have. And there's nothing like diffusion. You just can't beat it. We've been using it for 30 years, and uh, it's an incredible technology if you apply it right. It can be the most miserable thing in the world if you don't do it right. So you have to be very, very careful. What do we have with diffusion in terms of requirements? Well, distance, because this energy that comes out of the diffuser has to have distance for it to fully form. So if you're too close to it, you won't reach the maximum benefit of the diffuser. You only get part of the frequencies. So the goal is to be sitting far enough away from the diffuser that you can realize its full impact. And we can help you with those distances. So absorption is good when we don't have the distance requirement. So if we're in tighter quarters, our speakers are closer to the wall. Some people use absorption. Some people use diffusion on the side walls. It depends what your usage is. But diffusion is distance related where absorption is not. So two tools that we can use uh, in our acoustical processes. So hope this helps attenuation or diffusion give you some idea of the difference. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.